Hello everybody and welcome back to all the mod 6 to the sky. In this episode, as you can see, we get working on some dragons and a dragon forge because this is one of the most important kind of things that we kind of need to do to make the ATM star. It requires a lot of blocks of unobtainium all the modium alloy blocks. So this is how you do it. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to be hatching our dragons and I've been doing a little bit more grinding with the dragons with the dragon spawner in the, the other dimension with the mob spawner and I've been gathering up a ton more scales. So if we look up like at ice and fire, you can see here we have tons like 200 of each scale nearly, which is great because we're going to need a ton of it for today. Also, as you can see, you can tell how many dragons I've killed. A lot of them. And I've actually managed to get a spawn egg of every single dragon. So well, there's only three types of ice, fire, and then there's lightning ones up here. So over here on the left, I've got all the stuff we're going to be bookmarked. Uh, or just all the stuff that we're going to be making today bookmarked. So different armor sets for our dragons, a control staff, a dragon horn to pick up our dragons. We could use a mob imprisonment tool, but it's kind of cool to use the dragon horn. And all of this... Is going to be used to make these so the unobtainium block requires a lightning dragon forge so our main one is going to be a lightning dragon but if possible i do want to make the all the modium paxel this guy right here this one here requires fire which is vibranium and all the modium and then this one here requires ice which is vibranium and unobtainium so it also it's better to make it in the block form and part of the dragon grinding i've got a ton more eggs not as much fire but I've got like, what's that, like six, seven fire, uh, lightning and ice dragons and then four fire dragons. So we need to pick out the dragons we're actually going to hatch. I believe the copper one is a lightning dragon. I could be wrong. And the bronze, I think, is fire. I could be wrong about that as well. But we're just going to see what happens. So I definitely want to use this light blue dragon with gold armor. So it'll be nearly a white dragon with gold armor. And then I want to use this purple one with diamond armor, which is going to be kind of like my channel colors, purple and blue. And then I'm thinking of using um, the black dragon with the white. So we'll have like a black and white kind of like dragon color. So the dr fire dragon, I believe, has to be born in a fire like a pit of fire. So I think I need some netherrack. And I'm going to need a flint and steel. So flint and steel. Uh, the a water dragon. Or the, not the water. The ice dragon has to be spawned in water. So a bucket of water. I'm actually going to grab two buckets of water. So I can make like a big nine uh, three by three square. So I'll put them right in the center. And then our lightning dragon has to be hatched when it's raining. So that will all depend on what way the weather works right now. So I'm also going to grab out some walls because I want to build a small area right here so the dragons can hatch in peace but also not escape. And they're only going to be small baby st stage one dragons so I'm not entirely worried of them actually escaping. So I'm going to put the fire dragon right here like that and then I'm going to grab the water dragon or I keep calling it a water dragon but it's an ice dragon and I'm going to put him right here. And the only thing I'm worried about is back in all the mod 6, I had an issue where I spawned in a lightning dragon and when it struck down, like when it hatches, it strikes down lightning and it killed itself. So I don't want that to happen again. So I need to put that there, this in here, use my flint and steel and light it. And you know it's working when they're starting to rock like that. Now give this guy a minute and he will freeze block i think hang on uh maybe i should put solid blocks underneath him instead he should just freeze it maybe i'll just leave him go and see what happens oh no there he goes yeah he just froze and this lightning dragon um we just have to wait for it to start raining and i don't know if there's an actual way to make it rain hang on let me see is there a rain kind of like ritual from some mod that we have access to rain uh, rendering Gale, no, nasty stuff, no. Hmm. 
Uh, by the looks of it, I don't think there is. There might be some mod, maybe blood magic or something, but we're not deep enough into blood magic for that to happen. So, we're just going to have to leave this go and see what happens. These guys shouldn't take too long. I think they take about five minutes, but hopefully this fire doesn't um, kill any other dragon. The fire dragon should be fireproof. We'll have to wait and see. Well, actually, I guess while we're waiting for these dragons to hatch, we might as well get, well, get to work on making these things. So, this is our block of dragon bones. Um, we should have enough in that. This is going to be required stone bricks, so we're going to have to hatch a load of stone. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to keep a bucket of water on me just in case I need to put that fire out instantly. Um, but yeah, we have plenty of stone brick now. So, all of these scales that I got, so... Let me see, uh, scale, there we go. We need to turn all of these into blocks, pretty much. And since there's three colors of each dragon, we have tons of scales and they can all be used. Even though it says red, it can use black, uh, red and green. So we're not too far off being able to make this thing. Hopefully I have enough dragon scales. I don't wanna have to go grind down more. So we just have to add all these up, make sure another one's hatched, okay. Uh, I'm kind of scared for that fire dragon. I have a feeling that he will um, actually take fire damage when he hatches. So I might just have to be on the, the watch to make sure he doesn't die. Because they only spawn with like 20 HP. So I only have a couple of seconds to react before he does kill himself. So that's all the scales now compressed. So let's see. So fire dragon forge. I think I counted out about 25 of these. Um, as you can see, I'm out of blocks now, so not copper. I think it was the black one. Okay, now we'll just do this. 36. Oh, wait, we have plenty of them. Here's the forge. You just need to make sure you have every one of every heart, which I do. And then you make an aperture. So I need one more set of these. And now I have everything for a fire dragon forge. Now let's make the next one. So lightning dragon. We need to make as many of these as we can. So just keep making those. All right, 52. That's more than enough. So lightning dragon apparatus or aperture. Lightning dragon half core and then the bricks and then half of these. All right, perfect. So I can put some of those away because I'm not going to need all of them. All right, next one. We need ice dragon. So ice ones are not actually too difficult. 36, I need, I need a little bit more, a full stack, perfect. Now we just need to make the lightning dragon aperture and the lightning dragon core, or ice core. There we go. So now we have everything. Now the only thing is we're waiting for this lightning dragon to hatch. So I need it to rain. So we might actually have to wait a while before it actually starts raining. So I think I'm actually gonna pick you up for now, just in case I don't want anything to happen to you, even though we have like a load of other ones if we needed to. It's just the, the, the fact that having to wait for them to hatch is the disappointing part or the, the boring part. And you're just taking your sweet time. All right, is there anything else we need to do while we're waiting? We could make the armors. Actually, let's make as much dragon meal as we can. Oh, we're out of bones. Um, Over here, our spawner at the moment, I have chickens in because if we look at chicken, I ha think I have like over 30,000 chicken. 62,000 chicken. Okay, damn. Uh, I have so much chicken because I would need to speed up my saving system. And the only way to speed up the saving system was to do that. To create um, to go chicken. Because that's the way I have this juice set up. Alright, so instead now let's do this. So chicken. I want to use chicken instead. So chicken. There we go. And I'm going to put all the bones in here. And they are going to go away instantly. Yeah, look, they're gone. So, maybe I should set up an auto craft for this? I don't know. But we only got one dragon meal, and that's not enough. Um, What's our dragon doing? Alright, I'm going to be back as soon as these dragons have hatched, and then we'll I'll figure out how to make more of this dragon meal. And then when they're hatched, we'll make the armor for them. Okay. Oh, literally just as I did that. Uh, I need you to come out of there, and I need you to get up here. There we go. So... I have two pet dragons now. It has this... Okay, you just went flying. I was terrified. Okay, so give me back some dirt. Okay, I need to pick these guys up. 
How do I make a dragon horn? Okay, I need three of these. So one, two, and three. This is how we pick these guys up. I think you shift right click them. Yeah, and actually the color of the horn, like the little design here, actually changes when it shows there's a dragon inside. Cool. I don't want them drowning, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then we don't need this netherrack anymore. Actually, I'm surprised the thing underneath didn't catch on fire. I never thought about that. So it's, as you can see, it still hasn't rained yet and it's only turning midday, so I doubt it's gonna rain anytime soon, but we might as well get these dragons hatched. And um, we'll start with the ice dragon. So the ice dragon, if we, I think shift right click them, you can see, so we have a female. Hunger 50, stage one, and it's only got 20 health out of 2000. And now you can just keep feeding it this uh, dragon meal which I believe, doesn't it show something? I don't know. But I think once it gets like a certain stage, I think it's called like a uh, dragon growth hormone or something like that. I think that's like the name of it. And once they get to stage two, they cannot sit in your, tra uh, or beyond stage two, they cannot sit in your thing anymore. Actually, he's only stage one. So, oh, he can still go on my shoulder. Jesus Christ, you're massive on my shoulder. So I think once they get to stage two, they cannot anymore. And I think those green particles mean, yep, he upgraded or leveled up. So I don't want to make him too big. I want to keep him a relatively normal size. So about there. And I think I, yep, I can ride him now. And I need to be careful because I don't want to fall off into the void. But you can see now I can fly. And now what button do I need to press to descend? <laughs> Apparently you press X to go down. R, R is the actual uh, dragon's breath. And the dragon strike is G, so I'm not going to be pressing that. Okay, so that worked. All right, so perfect. Hey, where do you think you're going? Come back here. I'm going to put you back in here. And now we can actually use a dragon horn or this command staff. So let me grab a skull. Okay, calm down. And I think we right click him. And it's now he's staying, escorting me, wandering, staying. So escorting, I think, means he'll attack anything that comes near me. That means you, Iron Golem. You better stay away from me or my dragon's going to be on you. Okay, so now our dragon is a little bit bigger. Perfect. I think that's big enough. So um, let's make him some armor. I think we said we're going to go with gold for this dragon. So we got tail, the body, uh, the neck, and then the head. So I'm going to give you this set of armor. Yes, you look beautiful. Okay, you can calm down. There's also a banner we can put in here. Like, we made a Minecraft banner, but I don't really bother with that. Kind of looks weird just sticking out of their back, but sure. So, we can put you away right now because we don't need you at the moment. Now, let's grow up our fire dragon. So, let me set you to stay. And now I'm going to feed you. And uh, just bit by bit. The only thing is he keeps trying to get on my shoulder. But if you speed click it, it doesn't work. Actually, now it's working, so I can just click it really fast. And he will just grow and grow and grow. So you can see he's already past stage two. Now we, I think he's a stage three jack dragon. Yep. Actually, what stage did I make this guy go to? Is he stage two or three? He's a stage three 57 days. And this guy is a stage three 55 days. So I can add a little bit more. I think each one of these is a day. So I want to keep them all the same size. All right, so perfect. Actually, I'm going to move you out over here. So I think I said I was going to make this guy a white set of armor. So I need to use... Okay, calm down. I need to use silver blocks to make the full set of armor for this guy. The neck and then body. And then put the silver armor on. Yes. So we got blue and gold or kind of like a whitey blue gold and we got black and white and now we're next we're gonna have purple and blue with diamond armor might as well make the full set of diamond armor jeez these guys need to calm down i might need to turn down my sounds for them because they are loud uh let me do that so let's see dragon Okay, so that should be pretty much all of them down. And I just want to turn them up a small bit. I don't want to be completely muted. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. You're nice and calm. You are just cranky. But anyway, so until it starts raining, we can't use the lightning guy. So let's grab these two and head to the other dimension because it'd be the safest place to actually do 
what I'm looking for. And I'm also just going to grab out my blaze charm because blazes are so annoying in this place. So dragon spawner. And it's nice and flat area down here. So let's do it right here. So we need to actually construct these actual dragon forges now. And I put all the ingredients in my backpack. So we'll start with the, the ice one then. So I believe I've never actually built one of these before, but I have seen pictures of it. I think you actually, I've done this wrong straight away. I think you have to build a frame like this and then that. So bone blocks in the corner and then solid ice bricks around like that. And then I think you make a full circle and you leave the two front ones. You put the aperture, aperture in the front and then you put the core in the middle. And then you do the same design again with them bone blocks and then that. And if you've done it correctly, yep, I've done it correct. You should get little windows on the side that are glowing. Something popped over there. I think the pigman just killed the wither skeleton. So now that's working actually correctly, we should be able to get the lightning dragon and he might automatically start light firing into it. No? So get on him. And then hold R. And you can see this is how you would light it up. But for some reason he doesn't want to do it on his own. But anyway, so I think which one was it? So if we look at all the modium, which one required the ice one? Vibranium and unobtainium. Okay, so at all the modium. So unobtainium blocks, and now we'll grab vibranium. Actually, maybe he works once you put something in there for it to do something. Um, do something. Why aren't you doing anything for me? Oh, wait, is it because it's nighttime? I think these guys are actually nocturnal, where they sleep during the night and then... Okay, maybe I have to go sleep. Let me pick them back up and go sleep and then see if I can get them to work. Made it daytime now. Still technically nighttime here, but it's daytime in the overworld. No? You don't care? You don't care what time it is? Okay, well, what's supposed to happen, I think they can do it on their own. But you see, I'm not even touching anything and he's doing it. So I have to be standing on him for that, him to actually do it. So that's great. But you can see now this thing, if I get off quickly and have a look inside, you can see this thing was building up. So if I just sit on it and just let it just work away and AFK. Oh God, that poor pigman or piglin. Um, let me move over here. So this is how it works. And I have to do that for the rest of them as well. So unless I can get this guy just to keep doing it on his own. Nope. And you know what? Since I don't really want much mobs spawning around here. Give me some of these mega torches. And I'll just plop some of these around. Alright, that should be enough of those torches around to stop most mobs from spawning around here. Okay, so let's set up now the next one. So I actually don't need that dragon staff actually anymore for the moment because, well, I don't have... They're already set and wandering. So if we were to open our inventory and go in here and grab the fire dragon forge now and grab our bone blocks. Um, I must have accidentally put them away. So in here then, I don't want to be too close to this guy. So I think I'm going to go over here. Uh, maybe I should grab some more terracotta and flat out the area more. But I think right here should be an okay place. So, build the same shape again. Use the fire, or the, yeah, the fire bricks, the core, the aperture. It's around this whole thing. Come up in the corners like this. And then bone blocks here, here, and then place this corner with this one. And, yep, got the windows on it. So, now this is working. So, if I put, actually, which one uses the, the fire dragon? Fire is all the modium and vibranium. So I need another stack of vibranium and all the modium. I don't think there's enough for a stack of blocks. Yeah, I didn't think so. So I can put the two of these in here. Put all this other stuff away because I don't need it. And yeah, so put the fire dragon down. Does he automatically start working? Nope, I have to stand on him and he'll get to work. So I look like I might have to sit AFK on top of these guys because it doesn't look like they work on their own. Maybe if they were stage five or or yeah, stage four or five, they might do it on their own. So, but it looks a bit I'm gonna have to sit here on like AFK and just let them work away. 
Okay, it's been a bit of time. Has it made one? Yep, you can see it's made one vibranium alloy block. So I can get back on top of him and he'll continue working. I don't know if there's a way to actually get them to do it on their own. Like, is there actually a way to set them, like a command to make them do it? I don't know, actually. Um, At Ice and Fire, is there like another staff that we can use? Dragon Bone Flute. Legendary weapon. Shiny scales. I'm from a hippocampus. What the hell is that? Uh, okay, well, I don't know. Where's my command staff gone? There it is. Can I set you guys to right click? Shift right click to do something? Dragon's home position. Oh. Escorting, wandering, staying. The one thing I'm actually noticing, it's actually staying nighttime here. It's not actually turning daytime. Maybe, does that affect it here? Does it only work if it did that in the overworld? Interesting, I'm not actually sure. Um, but you can see we've got one unobtainium alloy block in there. And one vibranium aluminium alloy block. You can see this one's actually so close. It doesn't look like this one's actually going down. So let's get the next one finished. And then we have to wait until it actually turns uh, daytime. Or when it starts raining, not daytime. And then hatch this lightning dragon. Because that's the only one we're missing at the moment. Because once I get the lightning dragon, then we can just sit here in AFK and get all the all the modium unobtainium alloy blocks for this ATM star. Yeah, because you can see it's lightning dragon makes these things. So I think we're going to have to wait until that happens. Yep, you can see we made a second one. And this is not going down. So I think I'm going to pick you guys up and I'm going to go AFK and wait for it to start raining. So... I'll be right back once we have this lightning dragon nearly hatched. Okay, it is finally, finally, after s waiting about two hours of AFK, it has finally started to rain. Um, So I have two dragons down because I do want to do a little bit of a test. I want to see if I was to grow one of these up to stage five. Will that actually make the dragon automatically power the dragon forge? And uh, these dragons have been down maybe about two minutes already. So I'm not actually sure how long it takes for a dragon to hatch. But as soon as we hear a lightning strike, we know one has hatched. And I kind of put this one down maybe 30 seconds after this one. So hopefully um, I can put the water down without breaking this one. Because if this one gets moved, it stops and it has to restart. I'm kind of hoping I can just pop the water down, pick it back up and... Be safe because when the lightning strikes the ground will be on fire and the dragon will die instantly if we don't make sure we put them out they only spawn with 20 hp okay one has spawned uh this guy should spawn any second now apparently the sky just flashed and there was no lightning strike with no fire so i guess that's okay now uh, yep there's the two of them hatched damn he looks a little bit bigger than this one already the same they're the same size i don't know what i'm looking at Okay, so I'm just going to grab myself a mob imprisonment tool because I just want to make sure I can pick one up. Uh, so I want to keep one in my inventory. Can I? Oh, wait. Can I not pick these guys up with a mob imprisonment tool anymore? Is that a thing? I thought you could pick them up. So I guess you have to use the dragon horn to pick them up now. Okay, so I'm going to keep one baby. And here, we're going to grab the, this stuff now. We're going to start feeding him. Until he is fully grown up. We're going to get this guy to stage 5. So just speed him up like crazy. And another stack. Uh, didn't want to get on you. You know what? I'm actually going to bring you now to... I think he's actually max level. So I'm going to quickly sleep. And we're going to go to the other dimension now. And we're going to see uh, what happens. All right, so I already have the other two dragons in my inventory. So I'm going to grab the other dragon forge, which is this here. Uh, I don't think I have any dragon bone blocks left, so grab those out. And we're going to build the other forge just right here. Doesn't matter exactly where we build it, as long as there's enough area around the place that it will work. Okay, and then put these here. Corner center, then the aperture. There you go. This is activated. Correct. And now, from over here, we have the all the modium blocks in here. So, take those out. 
And over here, we have this one. So take those out. And now in here, we combine all the modium and unobtainium. And we grab our full stage five dragon. Do you automatically start shooting at it? You do. I want to get on you and have you facing the right way. Can I have you walk this way? And then do it here. You automatically just keep doing it? No, you stop. Do you stop because I take you out? Well, I mean, he's doing it on his own. So that means when they're stage five, it must mean they do it automatically. Okay. Now, I want to give you your armor now. So there you go. Oh, you look beautiful. All right, perfect. So now we're getting... Okay, I thought there was something over there. Now we're getting the all the modium alloy block with unobtainium. So realistically now, if we wanted to, we can combine that in here with that and then under combine that. We completed all those. We can put all this away. And if we just go to all the modium, I'm actually going to turn this down. This is quite loud. And we're just going to make all these. So we got the sword. We got the axe. We got the shovel and the pickaxe. And we're all out of all the modium. Um, okay. Give me one block. And then convert that back. And what was the thing? A pickaxe. There we go. And now we can make the Paxel. So I'll rip all the enchantments off this one. And put it on this one. But now we've got like the best tool pretty much in the game. You can see this insta breaks all of this. So beautiful and you are just going to sit there forever and you're just going to sit and do whatever so i'm actually going to put you away because i didn't actually think i needed you so put all this away and now we're going to take out these two and let me grab my dragon meal because i'm going to upgrade these guys to stage five then as well uh there's actually no reason to like all i need is that one so realistically i could just let that guy go so that's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to put these guys away. Actually, give me the dragon horn. Uh, dragon horn. I want to pick this guy back up. And I want to build the thing right here. So he faces it properly. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, they're not completely even. I'll have to move that guy over one. But that's whatever. So just build this thing back up. Can I jump? There we go. And then put this here. One, two, three, four. Oh, God. These are down at the wrong angle. And now we put the aperture and the core back in here. Core, aperture. Put these two in there. And now we just pop the dragon down right here. And you aren't doing anything. Why have I got strength? Did the dragon give me strength? Why aren't you doing this now? Are, is it because these guys are too close? Okay, I broke the, all the furnaces. Will you work on it now? Why aren't you doing it now? You did it before. Uh, okay, you work on it when I'm standing there. You have to be like right next to it. On top of it? Why aren't you doing it? I don't know. Maybe I should have just left it the way it was. Let me build it back over there and see if that worked again. Okay, so it's down. Put the ingredients back inside and put you down. Yep, you work on it that way, so... I don't know why you're facing the opposite direction, but... It works, it works. Let me chunk load this area, so... I think he is in between chunks, but I think it's technically these two here. If I press F3 and G, you can see that he is in between chunks. So maybe if I move the dragon to here, do you still do it? Yep, he's within the chunk and that's chunk loaded and that's chunk loaded. So 
hopefully by the time I come back now again tomorrow, or next episode, all of this will be converted over. I just need to get more all the modium blocks, but that's pretty much it. All right, I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I also stream over on Twitch. If you want to go check that out, the link is down in the description. So without further ado, hope to see you all next episode and goodbye.